Trader's Place, Saskatchewan. Uh, we had a farm there. My uh, father was a uh, hog farmer and uh, he eventually got out of that. But every summer uh, I would go and visit my grandparents on the farm and I would work on the farm and I really enjoyed the farm life. That was probably a highlight of my, uh, of my when I was young and I really got to know my grandparents very well. My dad was a salesman. He was often uh, traveling out of town all the time. I only saw him on the weekends. And so um, I didn't get to know him probably as much as I would have wanted to. It was not until I was in my 20s that I really started to get to know my dad a lot. What I really liked about uh, being a carpenter and uh, I guess when you build something with your hands and you see something, you know, I mean, there's nothing there and then you put something together, uh, to me, I've always enjoyed carpentry. That's why even today on weekends, I mean, I'm always helping either friends or family or somebody else, whether it's building decks or building fences or something like that. And, uh, and uh, so I just like to see the results of, uh, of what your hands have made. The hobby at that time that I had was, uh, you know, was investing, was money, etc. And so what happened when I was about 30 years of age, I decided to make a career change and get into the investment industry. Uh, what I remember thinking was, I got to learn in two years what most people learn in 10 years. And um, it uh, really got me into actually, rather than just going by what all the books and the investment, you know, what we, what we took and what we were told, what was true about the market, I did a lot of my own research. And uh, even back then I realized a lot of the things that we were taught, that this is what we should tell our clients, I didn't think was necessarily true. And so my take on how I looked at investing at that time was probably a lot different than a lot of other advisors. As the world's become globalized, as communication is picked up, you'll often find now when, when you get a, a hiccup in somewhere in Europe, it affects our markets also here in uh, Canada and the US as well. So we need to look at that and we need to look at where else can we go and how can we invest in a better way to reduce our volatility in our marketplace. I'm not a person that believes in a buy and hold and hope mentality. I believe there are times when we, it's prudent to actually take some money off the table, some of the investment profits that you've made, and sometimes it's okay to sit in cash for a while. Some people are just so thankful that we took the time, not just to invest their money, I mean anybody can invest your money, but to explain it properly and help them to understand what's out there, what's available out there. I think that's probably uh, uh, the good stories that we get from people, um, that they just, they just love the fact that we just, we just, we're not just there to just uh, throw them into something, that we're there to explain it to them and we're there to help them out in, in, into different aspects, whether it's tax planning or uh, what opportunities there are. I work all the time, not because necessarily that I have to, is because I love what I do. I love to learn things. I, I'm a sponge for information. I like to go out there. I read a lot of books. I like to see what other people have done. Um, I make mistakes too, just like everybody else does. But the thing is, you don't want to keep on making the mistakes. You want to go and change that and do the right thing. And that's what I've always looked at doing is, is learning as much as I can and moving forward.